Today we're going to talk about the clamping system that you purchased from SewingMachine.com for your PR600 or your Baby Lock EMP6, EMP8. The clamping system, as you know, will allow you to use different size windows by loosening the screw and changing out your windows. The machine, though, doesn't recognize what size window you have that you're using. You want to be able to use the entire window when you're sewing. A lot of you may not be able to use this lower half because you're not calibrated correctly. And I'm going to show you how to calibrate this clamp today. On the PR600 EMP system from Baby Lock, you have a pin on the back of the arm that holds your hoops. That pin, as it goes up and down, tells the machine what size hoop you're using, be it the smallest hoop, your 4x4, your 5x7, your 8x12. When you have a clamp loaded, we want the machine to think that it has an 8x12 hoop loaded. And in order to do that, this little arm on the back of your clamp it has to be set at the correct angle and they never seem to be set correctly from the factory and it's just the way things are. It's very easy to do and I'm going to explain to you how to do that. Once you've mounted your clamp onto your machine, what, what the first thing that we'll do is we'll load a design that is, will only fit in your largest hoop. I like to just go to my text on the machine, pull up my first text box and just press in the letter A and I do that eight times. That gives me a string of letters that's 9.32 inches long. That's larger than my third largest hoop. It will only fit in the 8x12 hoop. If I did something that was 6 inches long, it would calibrate for my 5x7 hoop. I don't want that. 9 inches or better, or actually 8 inches or better, 9 inches to be safe. So now I've got a string of letters in here that's 9 inches long. I hit my set key and I go to edit in. Up pops a screen that says change to the big frame. It's not recognizing this clamp right now as the largest hoop, so we have to calibrate it. And I hope that you can see this okay in the screen here, change to the big frame. So what we're going to do is come over to the side, I'm going to show you the sensor on the machine, and we're going to adjust it so that we can actually get to the point that it recognizes it's an 8x12 hoop and we're ready to sew in our clamp. Come on over to the side here. Okay, I'm going to remove the screw so you can see a little better what I'm doing here, but you, you have to have the screw in when you calibrate this. You can't do it with the screw out. It won't be a true reading, but what I'm doing is I'm bending up against that little arm. When the screw's in place, and I know the screw's in the way right now, but you get the picture, and I'm pushing up on that arm. You see, you see how it's flexing up here. It'll bend up slightly. And that's what we need in order to change the setting on this arm to calibrate this clamp. Okay, you can see the, the arm that we're going to adjust right now. And actually, you may be able to see that little silver pin there. What I'm going to do is take a screwdriver, and I'm going to place it underneath the arm. And I'm just going to bump it up just slightly. Then I'll go to the machine, I'll press Edit In, and hope that it goes to the next largest side. I may have to do this five or six times, and I just want to bump it up each time just just a hair, a sixteenth of an inch. If you go too far, you're going to go past the point it needs to be calibrated and then you'll have to bend it back down and start over again and we don't want to have to do that over and over again. So just a slight little bump up on the on the arm itself. Go back to your screen and hit edit in, which we'll do right now. We'll close this screen out. I'll hit edit in again and it still tells me to change the big frame. So what I'll do is I'll come back over and I'll bend it up again just slightly, just a little bit, edit in. It tells me again that I have to do it. And like I say, you may have to do this five or six times before you get to the point to where it accepts it. And it just accepted it. I'm now able to do a trace that will take the hoop completely outside of its sew field. But what it will always also do is allow me to come down to the very front of my hoop. And I'll show that to you now as soon as I quit this design. I'll quit the design. I'll load up. Oh, let's say five inches. I'll set it, head it in, I'll bring it all the way down to the front of my hoop, center a little more, trace it again. Now you can see I'm tracing all the way right down at the bottom of my clamp. I'm using the entire window. In this case, this happens to be my five by six inch window, and I'm making use of that entire window. So that's how you calibrate your clamp. They have to be calibrated, and if you have any questions, give us a call here at sewingmachine.com. Hopefully the video will help you to do that too. Thank you.